What's going on, YouTube? For this video, I'm going to talk to you about the error codes you might be experiencing on your LG washing machine. And my favorite is the UE, since this, since the UE error is the easiest, is so easy to fix. So I'm going to start off with that one. Let's say your washing machine was unable to balance the load on its own. Whenever that happens after a few tries, it'll throw a UE at you and that's how it'll ask for help and wait for you to solve that issue. It will also pause the cycle it's at. And you basically have to manually redistribute the current load you have in your washing machine or just se separate them into two. And, and if you get, once you're ready for it to pick up where it left off, simply push start pause. And there you have it. And now for the IE code. If you're experiencing the, an IE code, it is most likely your inlet valves. It could be that your drain hose is too far in. Your drain, your drain hose, um, your inlet valves are shut off, or your inlet valve filters are com are completely blocked. Well, or should I say clogged? I should probably say your inlet valves. Filters are completely clogged. Whenever that happens, that that's how it will throw an IE at you. Now for the OE. If it ever throws an OE at you, it is most likely your drain pump. Or should I say, if, it, if your washing machine was not able to drain all the water out of the tub, that's how it throws an OE at you. And I don't know about this because... Unfortunately, the supporter is right here, so... Know this would happen, but I had to do the alternative. I had to do the alternative of because because the supporter, this washing machine supporter right here. Not to worry, I'll clean all that water up once I'm finished with drain pump. Yep. If you heard those noises coming from the tub.
unfortunately I didn't bring any towels, so this might take longer than usual. Now it should be east of getting all that water. And then what you want to do is turn the drain pump counterclockwise. is to let all the water run out first before slowly opening the filter for any rinse. Once again, once again I'm doing this to, for you, so that it is easy for you to solve the OE error. If there's any lint stuck inside this drain pump filter, remove it. Remove any excessive lint and, and, and item, for example, a penny that might get caught in the tub. Once you successfully clean your drain pump filter, Insert the drain and build it. As I just did, I turned it clockwise to make sure it was successfully in. Do as I do. I put in this bag and this bag again. And try putting it back in the position it was when, when you were when you experienced the OE code. Careful with this. And there you have it. That's how you solve the OE error, your output error. And I might as well give this washing machine a quick tumble, a quick spin. If your washing machine ever throws an LE at you, it is most likely your motor. Let's say your motor is doing <coughs> If that happens, it is most likely your locked out motor and that's how it'll throw an LE at you. And that's how repair service is needed whenever you see an LE code like that.
And now, I'm going to talk about the easiest way to solve the DE error, the door error. Whenever it throws a DE1 at you, that means your lid was not properly closed. Let's see, you have to crack like this, and you try, and you try to start a cycle. That's how it'll throw a DE1 at you to let you know that the door was not properly closed. If that happens, make sure make sure you push the door all the way in until you hear a click. That's a simple way to solve a DE error. The TE error code is most likely your temperature sensor. For example, if you put the water on warm and the temperature was thinking that it was too hot or too cold or something like that, I think that's how it throws TE at you to let you know there's a temperature sensor failure. And I, and I think that's about it. That's a simple way to fix LG error codes on your LG washing machine. If you enjoyed that talk with me, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.